My name is Lorna Illingsworth. I'm a mortgage advisor for Protection and Investment Southampton. Today we're going to talk about questions for a first time buyer to consider. Your first step is to look at the area you would like to live. There are many different factors that will influence where you might like to live, such as how close you would like to be to work, friends, family, transport links or local schools. Once you've decided on a few potential areas, you should research prices in this area. Looking at current properties on the market will give you a good idea. Once you have an idea of property prices in your area or the area you'd like to live, you need to find out how much you can borrow. Speaking with an independent mortgage advisor will help look at your income and outgoings to give you an idea of how much a lender may lend you. The final and key step to getting on the property ladder is your deposit. The more deposit you have, the better. Once you know how much a lender will lend, you'll be able to work out how much deposit you need to save for your dream home. For example, if a lender will only lend you 180,000, but your dream home is on the market for 230,000, then you will need a deposit of 50,000. How much you can afford will depend on several factors. The three most important factors to consider are your income, outgoing payments, and a stress test. A lender will look at how much money you have coming in and how much is going out each month. They want to ensure that you can afford your new mortgage as well as maintain your standard of living. Before applying for your first mortgage, look at your finances and see where you could cut back. The minimum deposit a lender will accept is 5% of the property price. However, mortgages that have a high loan to property value will typically have higher mortgage rates. So increasing your deposit may save you money on the interest of the loan. Typically, home buyers will put down 10% to reduce their mortgage rate and their monthly mortgage payments. Each lender has its own method of deciding whether they will lend to you, but there are some ways that may help you look more favourable to the lenders. One, check your credit report before submitting to ensure that all information is correct and ask for it to be corrected if there is an error. Two, make sure you have registered on the electoral roll as it can be difficult to get a mortgage if you are not registered. Three, de-link yourself from financial connections such as ex-partners or flatmates. If they have a bad credit score, this could impact yours too. Four, ensure you are managing your credit. A lender may decline you if you have too much debt and are close to your credit limits, as it may appear that you're struggling financially. And you should also try not to apply for credit three to six months before a mortgage application, as this could increase your chances of rejection. What type of mortgage to go for will depend on your personal circumstances. Fixed rate mortgages are common. This is where the interest rate on the mortgage is fixed for a period of time. This type of mortgage offers stability and allows you to budget for the period of the fixed rate, often two to five years. The other type of mortgage to consider is a variable rate mortgage. These will track either the Bank of England rate or the lender's standard variable rate. However, if interest rates go up or down, so do your monthly payments, which means it can be harder to budget each month for. An independent mortgage advisor will arrange a mortgage between you and a mortgage lender. They will help you decide what mortgage you need and find a deal that matches your criteria. An independent mortgage advisor will have access to the whole market and mean they have a wide range of lenders to find the best deal for you. Some mortgage advisors are tied to a lender or a panel of lenders, so that may limit your options. A mortgage advisor may charge a fee for their service or they may only be paid commission by the lender. A mortgage advisor should disclose this to you, but if they do not, make sure to ask. Thank you.